All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about managing dependencies with raw step. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the raw step command and the different uh, cases of how it's being used. So specifically, I'll go into what is raw step, how does raw step work, type of dependencies and package.xml files, what raw step keys to use, the raw step installation, and running the raw step command. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. Okay, so let's get started. So what is ROS step? The ROS step command is a tool used to manage dependencies in ROS. So how does the ROS step work? ROS step will find the raw step keys, the dependencies listed in the package.xml file, and check with a central index. So that's going to be found in this link here. So if we go ahead and open this, so for example, if I'm using Humble, then inside of here, you're going to see all the different um, things that's included. So you could see that um, there's the different, essentially the different package names that we use and the corresponding like release, the URL tag, and all that um, information that you may need to find like the source code or anything about it. Okay, so that's what's meant by the raw step keys. And once found, they're installed. So types of dependencies in package.xml files. So you're gonna see different tags um, inside your XML file. You're gonna see the the pen tag. This is for dependencies in build time and runtime. So it's usually for C++ packages. You also have the build depend. So this one is for dependencies for building your package and not during execution. You have the build export depend. So this is for external packages that depend on this package. And then you have the ex exec uh, depend, which is for runtime. So it's like exec is short for execution. Um, so this is good for like shared libraries or executables, I mean, and then Python modules and launch scripts. And then you have the test depend, which is for running tests. And I missed a little brackets here that I'll add in later. So what is raw step key use? Um, what raw step keys to use usually? So in the distribution.yaml file, you want to search for the library name. So for example, if I search for rclcpp, then you can see that this is the, the name that pops up. Okay, so this is used to make notes for the pub sub examples that we've been looking at as well as the server and client in some of our previous tutorials. So if you haven't seen those, go ahead and check that out. So this is just one example of what you might be looking at. So um, in detail, you have the doc, you have the type, URL, version, release, all the packages that's included, um, you have the tags, the URL version, the source, and the website, and so on. And the status is the last one. Okay, so if you don't already have it, these are the steps and commands you would use to do the raw step install. And to actually run the command, it's pretty easy. You go to your ROS2 workspace and just run this command, raw step install from path, source dash y, dash dash ignore dash source. So the from path source, it checks a package.xml files in the source folder. And then the dash y installs, um, installs all answers yes to all prompts. And then the ignore source ignores packages in the source folder. Okay, so that's how you would run it. And typically you would run this, you know, before builds to be like a safety check just in case some things are um, broken in your dependencies. So in my next video, I'm going to talk about action package. So go ahead and check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.